Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Varis. Welcome you all in healthcare with Dr. Varis. We are today's topic which I have selected for you is Bell's palsy means uh, paralysis of facial muscle when a patient comes with this sign and symptom and he is very terrifying and horrible fearing in situation that uh, at night when he uh, sleeps and then wake up and uh, when he wake up he feels that his one eye is not closing properly and his mouth is drooling out and cannot make a whistle or then he when he present with a doctor and doctor diagnoses him or her as a uh, Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy actually is a paralysis of the facial muscle but it is not a hemiplegia or paraplegia like much crippling disease but if that type of patients comes to us within 48 hours they can get improved very soon uh, even in one week or two weeks but if he comes later then it takes a few months to recover. When that patient comes to doctor, the doctor prescribes the steroids to him or her and then titrate the doses and taper it, uh, reduce the doses uh, slowly uh, and then if these all therapies of the steroid fails then electrical impulses uh, are also being implied to stimulate the facial nerve and but uh, most often we will see we have seen that uh, most of the patients will respond and give response on steroids alone. The main causes of this disease are uh, the viruses but these are not exact cause of that virus. Virus means herpes zoster virus are the and that patient uh, which you have previously been exposed to that virus uh, are liable uh, to that uh, uh, to be a probable patient of that uh, disease and uh, there is diabetes, uh, hypertension and so many stress can also lead to that disease uh, when the Bell's palsy. In this disease, we will suggest the patients then he keep up the chewing gum and daily and then when work their, their muscles of face and the when tears also comes out from the eyes which is not being closed properly and at the night we advise him to keep some paid on eye and then close it that it may not let it dry. There is no need of to keep that patients in a hibernation period or in a close atmosphere but just keep the proper care of the facial nerve and especially in front of ear will cover that patient properly with any towel and then it may not be exposed on some cold, cold weather because it most problem, uh, commonly this disease um, occurs in winter but it may not uh, exclusively the disease of the winter but mostly often we have seen this in winter season. In cold weather, the exposed part of the face may trigger that disease. So we should also avoid and keep safe from winter season also to keep to keep and rounded on some towels on head and in front of ear that that cannot be exposed to some cold weather. Take care, Allah Hafiz.